Hey guys, I'm here today with a, um, well, I just recently posted my what I'm melting for the month of October and obviously I think you guys, most of you guys know I am definitely a seasonal burner and I, like, I think I've mentioned this before, I'm not sure, but that I kind of just, I keep everything um, in my storage unit and then basically what I'm going to be burning for the season I bring in here and this like candle wax cabinet like there's some wax some wax some wax some wallflowers matches and then uh, watercolors anyway um so yeah so all the candles that I'm burning for the season I keep in here and what I usually do is like um about one to two months one to three months so what you're looking at now is a little bit left over of September and then October and maybe some November um, but mostly October so I kind of took out some of the September stuff uh, depending on our moving situation if we're moving or not I can bring in more uh, November things but for right now um, this is pretty pretty much like satisfies my needs for whatever I'll need in the month of October and possibly November so this is what I'm currently melting and this is my go-to and this is all I have in my apartment in terms of candles is just what you see here. I grabbed all the other ones that were out around my apartment and put everything in here. So this is everything that I can grab to burn. And then as I buy new ones, uh, sometimes I keep them. Like I just recently purchased that black cherry Merlot and as you can see it's in here. Um, and same with that berry pumpkin strudel, but some other new ones I just kind of stash away. And I don't know how this is gonna change when we move. It just depends on like what my situation is in a new house if I have like a cabinet, a closet, like I don't know if I'm gonna keep like grab and go candles in a separate area and then keep like a stash in a different area, keep them all together, maybe just keep the seasonal ones up front to see. I'm not a hundred percent, but it'll be fun to play around with. So anyway, um they kind of like teetered off. I did have more transitional scents and I've kind of brought some of the transitional scents back and now we're pretty much just fall and then there's some like evening blends. So let's just get to it with the ones up front. So starting this one is a transitional one because this is coconut banana, but even though it sounds tropical, it's like coconut banana cream pie, I think. Is it on here? Banana coconut dream. So, and this is a bake shop candle. This is very bakery scented. This is from Candles by, by Victoria. Uh, it is a vendor that you can order from online. I think it's candlesbyvictoria.com. Um, and even though this is like more transitional and this is better for like end of summer, August, September, um, I'm still burning it now because A, it's not that strong. And I don't know why because I did have another Candles by Victoria in Blue Hawaiian that was fantastic over the summer. It was really strong, but I did only get this in February. So I think it's just old. Maybe her candles, the scent just doesn't last that long. So I plan on just finishing this up. Hopefully by the end of October, I'll be done with this guy and I can just Chuck it. I mean, I may keep the glass because it's really cute. I don't know. But mostly these are candles like probably don't want to like move with because I kind of want to just move in with mostly like full candles and like all these half burned ones. Just finish them up. Um, so I'm not moving around a bunch of like half empty jars. So that's pretty much the deal with this one. Um, let's put it down here for the time being. And over here I have this Yankee Candle Chardonnay. And while I like this one, and I really like this one, if we were going to be in an apartment next year, I would probably repurchase another one, but I feel like this is a small space candle because it's really not that strong. I can smell it in my apartment, but that's because this is a tiny space, but moving into a bigger space, I'm just not sure how it's going to do, and I actually don't think it would do very well. So... Yeah, I just want to finish it up while I'm here. And this is great for when I'm home all day. Uh, like I've mentioned in another video, I think. But um, I am currently like kind of back in school now, which I'll probably get into a little later. So I am home a lot studying. And then I also do a little bit of work from home. So when I want to burn something all day, this is my go-to because it's a little bit fresh. It's a nice clean type of background scent. It's not overwhelmingly fruity and it's just really nice to have on hand and because it's a Yankee it can go all day because it's a slow burn. Um, like I do have this on for like anywhere from five to eight hours at a time every time I burn it and I burn this pretty often and I'm, I've barely made a dent in it and I do want to finish this before we move. So it does tunnel a little bit. I can't turn this on without an Illumilid so hence that. I don't, I don't even leave a lid on I just leave that Illumilid there. And moving on back here, these are things that 
I actually, I wish I didn't have to keep this candle holder here, both of these, but I don't want to put them in the storage unit because I don't want to risk them breaking. So I keep them here where they're safe and I'm like really nervous to even move these. I'm just going to have to package them up in like a newspaper in a box. Um, over here, <laughs> this is one I just want to use in the apartment because I knew that these were going to be weak. I did have a Yankee Candle Halloween candle last year in the cider web and it was totally unscented. But then I heard that the Yankees, even the discount ones, the patchouli is always a strong scent. So I did pick this one up. Unfortunately, I've burnt it twice and it's not strong at all. Um, it has to live in foil for it to pull out totally. You can see there's a little bit of lip up there because as soon as I take the foil up, uh, the foil off, it starts to tunnel again. And the main reason I got this candle was because of the cute cat on the label. So it like drives me crazy that it does have to live in foil. So this is pretty much just a bathroom candle. I wish it was stronger, but unfortunately it's unscented. So definitely want to use this up before I move because I don't see the point in bringing an unscented candle into a house. Plus the fact that we'll be moving after Halloween. So yeah, I we'll just want to finish that up now. Um, back here is Farm Stand Apple. I really love this one. This is just their standard fresh picked apple scents, um, but I love apple scents and this is so nice and strong. This I burned all September and I'm keeping this around because we do go apple picking in October and I know this is like cheesy, but I do like to have apple scented candles like after we go apple picking or if we're baking with apples and this coming weekend we're going apple picking with um, my best friend from high school and her boyfriend. So I know I'm going to want to have that burning back here is cranberry pumpkin I did buy a couple of backups of these last year and then I just had this one left that has barely any wax left so um, I brought it out of the storage unit because I'm like I don't want to move just this little thing so I might as well finish it um, this season while we're still in the apartment and moving on up to this shelf I do want to burn that together with pumpkin pecan waffles because I did burn these two together last year and this is a fantastic combination they smell so so good together the cranberry the maple um, that waffle scent and then the bakery dough and this these are just a perfect perfect pairing and they're both nice and strong so I don't need any other candle burning when these two are going so I'm just kind of like saving these aside because I want to melt them together actually I'm gonna store these together over here because they're pretty much like a pair and then We'll put that apple one back up there, or maybe I'll leave the apple up here. Let's see, I'm all over. And then back here is just a candle stand, um, a Bath and Body Works container. That's the lid for that Yankee candle. And then there's a Diptyque Mimosa in there, and that glass is actually cracked. Um, I, I have burnt it with the glass cracked, which is stupid, but I've only left it on for like an hour and it's been fine. But I just love the way the Diptyque candles look that I'll probably just leave that out for like decoration when we move. But it's in there because it is cracked already and I just wanted to keep it safe. I didn't want it like banging around anything in the storage unit and like possibly shattering the glass. So that's just like there for safekeeping. I know I sound like a crazy person. Like, yeah, that's my broken candle. But like, it's a fucking $60 candle. The glass cracked. I just, I can't bring myself to throw $60 away just because the glass is cracked um and I don't know if I can return it or not but I've had that for like over a year so I just it's not even worth it anyway up here is cheers mulled wine and you know I burnt this once I burnt it uh last October after we got back from California and then I burnt it once a couple of weeks ago or two weeks ago whenever it was and it's just so strong that actually I think I'm going to take this out of here I am um because I'm also kind of going through this and seeing what I want to take back to uh, the storage unit safer house and this is just so overwhelmingly strong that I want to save it for a bigger space because I'm trying to if you can't tell burn up like um, my lighter scented candles in here because they'll do better in a small space and save the really strong ones for when we move to a bigger space uh, moving on I have Kringle's vanilla cone now this is a nice strong one that probably would do well in a house but as you can see I'm at the very tail end of this so I just want to finish it and it's kind of got this like burnt scent now it definitely doesn't smell the same as it did when it first started it kind of smells like burnt waffles um, like if someone if like if you went to an ice cream shop and like the kids were making the waffle cones and leaving them on a little too long and they were just like frying and turning black and burning that's what this smells like but I kind of like it <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that in a bad way because I honestly do kind of like it. It kind of smells like um, like burning firewood almost. <laughs> and it's like a nice fall type set. And then I have apple pie here, which again, same thing. It's just because it's like almost done. Why bother saving it even though it is nice and strong? And I did want to like save a lot of my Kringles because they're such pretty jars, but whatever. Um, another one to save like after an apple picking day or maybe even like Thanksgiving. That could be a good scent for that. So there are those Kringles. Put that apple one back. Um, and yeah, these are just stacked up here. This isn't like the safest, but whatever, it works. 
Um, next is Autumn, and this is fresh from this year, which I have it just because I love this scent so much. I do have other ones from last year, but they're like buried somewhere in my storage unit and I couldn't find it. So this is one I've never burned that um, I just have here because I love the scent and I just, I can't be without it in the fall. So whatever, it's here. Uh, this is Pumpkin Coconut. This is another one I went crazy with last year and I think I have four or five of them in my storage unit. So this is just the one that I have that's half burnt and I have it here, but I don't even know if I will end up finishing it because again, this is crazy, crazy strong. I don't need to burn any other candles in my apartment when I have this going because this will fill up the entire apartment. So I may actually just, even though it's half empty, I might as well just take it back because it's so strong. Again, I'm sorry if I sound like a fucking nutcase here. Like, yeah, I'm going to save these. Like... It's so crazy like moving with like these half empty jars, but like, I don't know, I just, I'm like kind of on a no buy and a wax band right now, which like makes me feel crazy because I'm like, oh my God, am I gonna have enough? So I'm just kind of like saving off my strong ones because I want to have like nice strong scents in the home. And this is Stormwatch. This is a Yankee that the Yankee glass broke, so I just rejarred it into this Bath and Body Works glass and put the label back on. Um, yeah, I just always have to have that one on hand because it's one of my favorites and it really does smell like a storm. And over here, this is just my evening candle. This is Paris Lavender Macaroon. I just adore this one in the bedroom. I don't think this is the lid that came with it. I bought it at the semi-annual sale and I did buy it with this lid on it, but I don't think it's the um, lid that's supposed to go with this collection. I'm not sure though. Anyway, I love this one. I have five or six of these in my storage unit. It's so good. It's nice and strong. Um, when I am studying, sometimes I bring this into the living room and burn it while I'm studying because it's a calm, relaxing scent and I just like it when I'm trying to do something productive. Um, so it's a great one to have on hand. Uh, next over here, uh, where should I go? So this is a Goose Creek and this is Toasty Pumpkin Toddy. And I had these in my storage unit because I think the glasses are so pretty and I wanted to save these glasses for when we move, but I'm just not crazy about this scent. It's half done, so I'm kind of just leaving it here, but I don't know, like, I really want to use these glasses, like, in when we move to the house, but when I'm done with these candles, I'm probably not going to throw it out anyway. Um, I'll probably keep it for, like, a tea light warmer or votive, uh, use it to burn votives in because it's just so gorgeous. And if you go back on my channel, I do have a video of um, this, like, with burning with the lights on with the lights off so you can see like how that mercury jar looks it's so gorgeous next over here i have spiced pomegranate cider um i really want to get another one of these i didn't realize how amazing this was um i want to get another one of this and another one of that black cherry merlot because these were scents that on cold i was like eh, i can do without and then finally like i gave in and i bought them and i burnt them and they're phenomenal I love this one so and this is a great burn nice and even so strong I definitely want to pick up one more of these at least one more cider lane I do have I think two other of these in my storage unit this is a great scent um, like a caramel apple but a little bit of an outdoorsy note it's so so good and this is just such a comforting like when it's a chilly fall night I love breaking out this candle so I have to have one on hand harvest gathering I think I'm gonna bring this one back because it just smells so similar to leaves but I like it a little bit better than leaves which I know is crazy but I do and I think this jar is just so pretty I love the cork and vine I just love this whole collection so I think this one these are all the ones that are gonna go back to the storage unit um save that one because I just I want to save that one for a house because I love it so much and I only have one of them so there's that Let's put these guys back so I lean over here is flannel, and I do have one or two flannels in my storage unit. I just want to finish this up. It's almost done. This is another one, like the Paris Lavender Macaroon. I found I find this like a nice, calming, relaxing scent. It smells like um, Axe Body Spray, and it just reminds me of high school. It's a really nostalgic smell, so I do like having this on when I'm trying to be productive, cleaning, or just relaxing, and it's a really good daytime scent, in my opinion. I like Cologne Mentime scents, like during the day. They just feel fresh and clean, and I like them when I'm home trying to be productive. Over here is classic leaves. I have a couple leaves in storage. I just I love it so much. It's so good. It's so strong. This is from last year. I did buy another leaves this year. Um, I would save this one because I think that this uh, gradient ombre jar is so gorgeous and I should have saved this one for a house, but whatever, it's half empty. So it's kind of losing um, that whole vibe that it had anyway. So I'm just going to finish this one here. So there's that. 
let's get these guys aside. I'm like a mess. Um, pumpkin apple, another one of my just absolute favorites. This is so good, a classic one. I have no idea how many of these I have in storage. If I have one more, two more, three, I don't know. Um, I did not buy one yet this year, but I want to. I haven't heard much about the throw, if it did well um, this year or not, but this one from last year was awesome. Under here, I have Thankful, Chestnut, and Clove. I did buy a lot of these because I found a bunch of them at the $8 candle sale. So um, I do have quite a few backups of these. I think I have at least four, if not five. I'm not sure though. But I know I got a lot of these. I have not bought one from this year, but my friend Lindsay told me that it's awesome this year. It's strong, just as good as it was last year. And it does have that pretty leaf label jar like that one. So I should pick up a new bag one of Thankful. Um, if I'm picking up any new candles this year, it's going to be a Black Cherry Merlot, Spice Pomegranate, and chestnut and clove so that's those guys and moving on up here I have pumpkin pie and this is one that I like uh, burning on November 1st that's when I did it last year this is like one of my favorite November candles it's so good I don't know why I can't do it in October like I just I don't know October is more like apple pies and apple picking for me but I do like pumpkin but more like Halloweeny so this is just more like my November because my family always has pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving so this just feels like Thanksgiving November ish for me over here, Black Cherry Merlot. Um, all season since this has been out, I keep going to the store and sniffing it and like I can't tell if I hate it or it's just like okay. Um, that like tart note, I just, I, I couldn't tell if I liked it or not. So the other day I was in the city and it was the buy one get one and I forgot the other one I got, but anyway, I grabbed the Black Cherry Merlot. I'm like, I, cause I kept sniffing it in the store. I kept picking it up and putting it down. So I was like, fuck it, let me just buy it. And I burnt it that day and it filled up my entire living room and I love the scent warm. It's so comforting. It's an amazing fall scent. I love it. I want to get at least two, if not three more of these. I mean, it really is that good. I'm shocked how much I love this candle, but I adore it. Definitely need to get some more. Over here, I have Berry Pumpkin Strudel, which is more like an apple candle. I did have this burning the other night. I've only burned it one so far, and I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I guess my husband put this one out because usually when he does, this is what they end up looking like. But this was really good. I like this one a lot. I don't know if I'm going to get another one or not. I can't tell. You have to burn it a couple more times because I can't tell if I like it or if it's one of those ones like the Radiant Red Maple where it's like, I like it, but I'm good with one of them. I don't need to like hoard it. I just like enjoyed the one burn and it's like one and done. Um, I'm not sure yet. Let's see. What this oh, perfect. Fits right up there. Um, over here, pumpkin cupcake. And I, ha I have a couple of these from last year, but I did get this one. Oh yeah, this was the other one I got with the black cherry Merlot. Um, I got this because I heard that they changed the formula in the scent a little bit, so I wanted to give it a try. And unfortunately, I think I like last year's better, so I don't know if I'll get another one of these this season. The last one down here is, oopsies, let's get it. This is that um, heirloom apple. This is the one I think smells like fresh apples, leaves, and dirt, but I really like it. Although I haven't burnt it yet, so I don't know. It's just so pretty. I kind of just want to save it. I want to get more of these jars, but I want to like burn it first before I buy more to see if like the throw is good or not. So there's that. I got to like eventually give that a burn. Pumpkin cupcake. Oh my God, this is such, everything's like all over here. So vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. This is just a classic, amazing bakery scent. I really like this one for whatever reason, Halloween night. Like... It's sweet, it's bakery. It just reminds me of like trick-or-treating, like candy and like all the good junk food you eat on Halloween. So I like having this like decadent bakery, creamy vanilla type scent going like the week of Halloween and Halloween night. So that's kind of what I saved this for. Um, cranberry woods, I just always have to have on hand because I love it. This one's from this year. I do have a couple from last year, but again, they're just like buried in storage because I was like, oh, I'm saving this one for a house because I love the scent so much. So I had to pick up one since I couldn't find the other ones because I'm like, I just don't want to be without the scent. I love it. Over here is pumpkin banana muffin. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep this one or not because if you go back to my semi-annual sale videos from last winter, I hit the jackpot and found like four or five banana pumpkin, uh, banana nutmeg bread puddings for 75% off. They came out to like four or five dollars with the coupon, so I bought them all. And I have so many banana nutmeg bread puddings. And this is the same. I think it's a little bit different, but I've heard that the throw is really weak on this. So I'm going to give it one or two burns, see if I like it. And if the throw is not up to par, I'm just going to exchange it for a totally different one because I do have a lot of backups of that particular scent. Here's one more back here, and this is that chocolate pistachio pudding. Um, I don't really love this on cold. i got to try it, see if 
I'm gonna like it or not, um, but it's in that back corner, so I keep forgetting about it. <laughs> I'm like, this whole situation. So these, I, I gotta try that one though. Anyway, moving on, I have another Goose Creek um, Mercury jar, and this is in, oh, it's not on here, but it's in Cozy Home. I love this scent so much. Actually, I think I'm going to bring this back to the storage unit because it's still pretty full, and I love this scent so much. I do have the wax melts um, in my October drawer, so I'll keep the wax melts for now, and this one, oopsies, I'm going to bring back to the storage unit and save that for a house because it's a gorgeous scent and an even prettier jar. Over here, what else is there? So these are, this is another bedroom candle along with like that Paris Lavender Mac room, but um, it's pretty shitty because I can't smell it at all. This is Kringle uh, Vanilla Mint and it was so strong on cold. I got this for six or seven dollars at Home Goods, and it was so strong on cold. That's why I was at why I decided to give it a chance, but unfortunately, um, while burning, it's completely unscented. Let's see if I can get this open. Got it. So there it is in there. It doesn't really tunnel. This last time I just didn't have it burning for long enough, but if it burns for a couple hours, it's a pretty um, even burn. I haven't had a problem with it tunneling, so it's a little bit on the side there, but that's just more like I just haven't had it burning long enough. And even now with the lid off, I can smell it from here, like all the way over here, I can smell it. Um, but for whatever reason, burning, whether it's in my bathroom, my bedroom, my, I've tried in every room in the apartment and I just cannot get a throw on this damn thing, which is a shame because it's a great scent on cold, but unfortunately it just does not perform. So I will not purchase Kringle from Marshall's Home Goods, any of the discount stores ever again, because it's really not worth it. Actually, this stays out because this just stays in the bedroom. That's where I keep that one because that's where I burn it. I have to finish this one. This is Mainstay's French Toast. Uh, this smells similar to um, cinnamon sugar donut, but less of a bakery note, more just like that dry cinnamon type scent, but I really like it. And for a $3 candle, this is crazy strong. However, the wicks do move around, so it's a little unpredictable. I'll probably get like one or two more burns out of this one. So, and this is another one I just kind of keep in the kitchen because that's where I burn it. So like I said, I took some of these out from around my apartment and brought them in here. Um, that's one that I keep in the kitchen, so that's where it's gonna go. And this one, my broker just got for me from Stop and Shop. She was like, oh, it smells so good. I got one for myself and I got one for you. And it's sugared maple, smells really good on cold. Unfortunately, it's pretty unscented. And as you can tell, the burn is a disaster. Last night I had it going for like five or six hours. So I was like playing with it and just like pushing the wax down. Like, ooh, this is fun. Um, but this was just like too thick over here. So I'll give it one more burn because it's such a pretty little jar and it actually is a nice ambiance. And that's why I always have it going um, and why I've let it melt for this long because it just, it looks so pretty. I have a little glass dish that it sits on and I just like looking at it so yeah actually I have to buy my broker some or give her some of mine because I have so damn many but I have to get her some Bath and Body Works candles because all she gets are these like grocery store candles and Yankees and I'm like girl you don't know what you're missing like there's so many stronger candles out there so that guy can just go right up there and then I also have this little leaves candle for this little tiny jar this is from last year this is crazy strong I keep this in my hallway and my entire hallway Smells like leaves. You can even smell it into the living room. It's insane how strong this little guy is. Love, 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 love it. Over here, this is a bedroom candle. This is the um, Aquias Alpine Meadow. And this is just a really delicate, soft, fre uh, fresh scent. When I have the air conditioner on, I can't smell it. But when the air conditioner is off, it's a faint, light scent. But it's really good for the bedroom. So keep him around. That'll go right up there, and it's pretty to leave out. It's really nice packaging, and I'll put that guy up there. And then this is the last one. This also stays in the kitchen. My mom got me this from Napa. This is just a standard wine-scented candle, and it's a nice medium throw. You can definitely smell it in the kitchen. It's just got that tart, winey smell. Um, not exactly like the Black Cherry Merlot, but like in the same scent family, if that makes sense. Uh, this is scent. Sensations Home Fragrance Cabernet Legacy number 98. So I just think the jar is adorable and I really like having this out like on a Friday or Saturday night. It's just a cute candle to burn like just based on looks alone. So that just stays over here. All right, so look at that already. It looks nice and clean. I've gotten some stuff out of here. So this is pretty much my go-to and what I've been melting this month, what I'll be melting for the rest of October, probably into November. So um, yeah, I just wanted to pop in and do this because 
I don't just melt, even though I did the wax video, um, I kind of do the same thing for my candles where I take out the handful of ones that are going to be my grab and go for the time being. And I wanted to share that with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.